In this session, we will be looking at model pop-ups in Lightning Experience. So let's get started and uh, let me open up the developer console. Let me close these two tabs. Let's create a new Lightning component. I'll give a name to it. I'll name it as work with models. I'll create a new lightning app. Add app. Hit the submit button. I'll plug the component in the app. Save it and go to the browser. Search with something called Model Pop-up Lightning. Click on the first link. This is the Lightning Design System. This is the documentation. This is how it appears. And here is the equivalent code. Copy it, come back to the browser, paste it, let me beautify this, Remove this. Let me save this. We have to add a icon here because the SVG tags are deprecated. Let me try to get the name of the icon. Let us go to the documentation. Lightning icon is what I'll search with. Click on this link and click on utility. You will find close here. Copy the code. Let me remove this code. And give proper indentation. Paste it here. Icon name becomes utility column close. It's better if you add the alternative text also. Let me write it down. Save it. And uh, open this. This is because we need to add force colon SLDS here to the attribute extends. come back and refresh there you go this is how it appears and we have a header footer two buttons and text in the middle we have the close icon also and it doesn't work as of now we need to write the implementation for it to work we need to also write the implementation for save and cancel also as of now we only have the model pop-up and will not be doing that part now we'll look into it at a later point of time and there are different ways of firing the model pop-up
if you look at it as of now the pop-up shows up when we load the app but what if we need it only when we click on a button or a link that is what we'll be looking into now so let's do it now let me define an aura attribute here I'll name it as show dialog looks like there is a typo and type is boolean and the tag I'll have a default value and I'll make it false this can be even string I'll try to add a button somewhere here I'll use label attribute and uh, on click attribute give a value to on click attribute save this let us write the implementation here let's go to controller paste the name here let me indent the code and I'll wrap everything in a aura if tag is true is the attribute we'll be using and its value is v dot show dialog so since the default value is false model pop-up doesn't show up I will close the aura if here let me save it we still have to implement the action handler go to the browser refresh it we are not seeing the pop-up as of now let's implement action handler now component.set is what I'll use set show dialog value to true save it and also the component go to the browser refresh it click it looks like there is some problem with the code that we have written okay there should be c dot refresh it once again click on the button and we are able to see the model pop up now there is another way of doing it in production level apps we don't do it this way let me remove the aura if tag if you see line number seven 
has two classes this and this and the second one is responsible in making sure that the pop-up is showing up likewise in line number 28 this class is responsible for graying the background so I'll remove this and also this after removing both these classes now I'll go ahead and I'll save it go back to the browser and refresh it there is no pop-up now I'll add aura ID here and value is dialog ID likewise I'll add aura ID here save it okay remove the extra space and then save it in the controller I'll remove this line I'll use component.find assign it to a variable I'll put the ID of the pop-up I'll use dollar a dot util dot toggle class I can use this or add class I'll add a class to the model pop-up this way and the class is this and let me add a semicolon we also need to add class to overlay this becomes overlay ID copy this paste it here this will be overlay pop-up and this is the class save it go back to the browser and refresh it so all we are trying to do is by default we are removing both the classes and using JS controller we are adding the classes dynamically this has to be small o here as I mentioned JavaScript is case sensitive and small o is used in component also let me save it again come here click on the button model pop-up opens up and we are adding the CSS dynamically in the uh, JavaScript so that's all for this session and we'll resume back in the next session